honor her. So I want to thank you all for your understanding and patience. Um, unlike Willie Brown, I usually come on time to events. And, to <laughs> and, and just let me say, um, this city has gone through a challenging time. When you think about it, um, similar to Feinstein, when Mayor Ed Lee died in office and I became mayor, I wasn't planning to be mayor, um, but the city, I mean, it was an emotional time for his family, for so many of you who might have had a working relationship with him. But, you know, part of it was, again, going back to Feinstein, she called me and really talked to me about exactly what she went through and what I needed to do. You have got to lead this city. You have got to provide inspiration and hope because as much as you might be feeling it just as much as everyone else, you have to make the hard decisions and you have to do always what is in the city's best interest. And it was very much appreciated that she has been, you know, that guiding force, but also that person who calls me and says, come and clean up the corner of X, Y, Z. We need this trash picked up, we want the city to look good. Fast forward, who would have thought a global pandemic, right? The global pandemic and, and how it changed our lives. And coming out of that global pandemic first, it's like, what is San Francisco doing? Shutting down, what are they doing? They're crazy in San Francisco. Then it's like, oh my God, San Francisco was a model. Everyone should have followed San Francisco. And in fact, we just gave uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci the key to the city today in City Hall. I was really proud to do that. And we would have made it a big public event, but sadly he gets so many death threats that we had to keep it um, with a small group of people. So fast forward and we're coming out of the recovery. And everyone first at San Francisco was a leader and they saved lives and now everyone's pointing the finger at what San Francisco isn't doing and what's a problem when in fact many of those same challenges that we are experiencing in this city are happening in other major cities, not just across this country, across the world. We have APEC that's about to come to San Francisco. We just, it's gonna be a big deal. We just welcomed 250 people from their advanced team. And you know what they said? They said, Mayor, we went through these various neighborhoods of the city. We have some of those problems too. This is no different, but this is a beautiful city. This is an amazing city. And so I am so excited to be here with all of you because I can tell by the energy in this room, you all have a genuine heart for San Francisco, the real heart in the middle for San Francisco. Yeah. And we are not giving up on this city. It is so important now more than ever. You know, some people like threw up their hands on leaving San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco, this. And those same people are like, well, you know, I gotta come back to San Francisco yeah. because yeah. This is where AI is yeah. the thing and I can't find the talent that I can find in San Francisco. I can't find the creativity, the innovation, the excitement right. like San Francisco. I can't find that in the place where I thought it was better. And that is what's happening that's different than ever before. Yes, we have our challenges like any other city, but San Francisco, it's starting to feel, the air is feeling different. That's right. I don't know if you feel, I'm walking the streets and, That's right. you know, looking a little bit cleaner in certain Ooh. parts. And, <laughs> you know, or, I, I focus on certain corners. I'm like, okay, this corner's been clean for 10 days. Okay. What I'm most proud of is making sure that people know not just what's going on now, but our legacy and what this city has done. This has always been the city where it starts. This has always been the city that invented something that everyone else stole or fought. I mean, the iPhone was introduced in San Francisco. The television was created in San Francisco. The cable car. And other people were like, oh, it was like, oh, wow, we should, we should have a cable car in our city. And San Francisco continued <laughs> to keep the cable car, even when others tried to get, a, get rid of it for new advanced technologies. Then Mayor Feinstein saved the cable car, the Chia Pet and the clap on were <laughs> invented in San Francisco, by a San Francisco. And so when I think about all of these great things, all these innovative ideas, they, they, they happen here. And we need to make sure that we are taking credit 
for all the things that we help create and what changes the world. We change the world from here. Yes. I know USF says change the world from here. That's San Francisco as a whole. That is our model too. We change the world because the creativity, the talent, the innovation, the diversity, all of that is what makes so many extraordinary things possible and we can never forget that. We can never forget that. We have to hold on to that. And why we are here today because we have to make sure that we change what others say. I remember Adam said, I'm gonna I'm a create a, a, a account that says, uh, San Francisco sucks. <laughs> remember you told me that? Because he said, and then I'm gonna put all the great things about San Francisco because I know people will look at it because of that, right? Because there are so many great events like the beer, bagel, and, 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 and what was that? Beer, bagel, and pizza? Oh. You couldn't even get in there. It was so busy, crowded in North Beach. The Blue Angels are flying all over San Francisco. Folks are everywhere. The sun is shining. There's so much activity. John's Grill celebrated 115 years. We are here in a great place with the chef of the restaurant eating and drinking and, and so many wonderful things are happening. So it is so important that I'm not just the cheerleader for San Francisco. You are the cheerleaders of San Francisco. Your experience is what we need to share with the rest of the world. And we need to make sure that people know what we know. That San Francisco is one of the best cities in the world. One of the most beautiful cities, one of the most amazing cities, despite challenges that change depending on the generation. And we will continue to fight to turn that around. And it will start in some ways with APEC, the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation. And our restaurants are gonna be packed. You know, we're bringing them into the neighborhoods for real. We got heads of state and you know, all the financial type people and all these folks who, there will be street closures. So please, I don't want any complaints. That's not my call, but this is one of the largest international events we've ever experienced. We haven't experienced this since 1945 when the United Nations was established in San Francisco. That's, right. That's how big this is. So 21 economies descending on San Francisco, all kinds of land, Australia, Canada, uh, you know, Mexico. We, we are so excited to welcome people and to be the host for the world because all eyes will be on our city. Almost a thousand foreign press who will be writing stories, who will be looking for what everyone is talking about, and they will not find anything different what they, than what they experience themselves in their city. So the only thing they're gonna be able to write about is all of the great experience and all of you, all the wonderful San Franciscans they have met, all the good food that they've eaten, all the entertainment and the excitement and the fun that they experienced. That is our goal, and we want that to carry us through. We want it to continue to uplift our city. We want it co to continue to turn our city around and do what's necessary to make sure that people know what we all know, that this place is special and is worth fighting for. So, so thank you for fighting for San Francisco. You know, I know so many of you, and you know, this is really an interesting crowd because I don't think I've seen all of you ever together like this, and I know where, I kind of know where most of you live in the city, even or what neighborhoods you're involved in, or what your relationship is to what organization. And it's so Thanks, amazing Bob. to Bob. see. Yeah, Bob. 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 Now let me say something about Bob. I met Bob in his furniture store on Fillmore Street, and. Guess where I got those pantyhose from for Diane Feinstein's performance? It was called the National Dollar Store. It before back in the day, that's where we I got all my clothes from when I when I could get a little money. I'm like, Mama, please let me buy something from National Dollar. That was the place. And you turn it into a great store. And you not only had a great store, but you've always been very community minded. You always welcome people in. You always build bridges. And this is no different. This is really amazing. Is why I'm so happy to be here to really uplift San Francisco and to celebrate with each and every one of you. So thank you all so much for loving and believing in this amazing city. Oh, 
I have a certificate. Yes. Again. Yes. For a So, guys, I was just going to buy you a drink. However, I'll take it. I was going to buy you a drink. However, today we're going to make sure that you have free parking in the mission. I might have to pay your ticket, but hey. On behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, thank you for being a real inspiration. Mayor, I just want to thank you so much because we've known each other for seven years now through my store. And um, I'm an immigrant and the words that you speak, they resonate with me because this city truly is a special city. In many ways, it's a city of outsiders and it's an open city, you know, from the 49ers to the beatniks to the hippies, LGBTQ, the nerds, they created empires here. And um, I'm so appreciative that I'm part of this community and um, I appreciate you for your words, right. your inspirational uh, life journey that resonates. Thank so you. thank you. Thank you, so thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Yeah.